Guys and gals, I cannot believe the video that we're sitting down to make today. We are talking about a brand new Bioshock game. One of the very best FPS story driven games of all time. I am beyond pumped up. We have of course, the brand new announcement to cover today, but we're going to be corroborating old leaks with brand new confirmation today to unearth new details about this upcoming Bioshock game, which may not be as far off as 2K had originally said. Now, we're going to start things off with the initial press release from 2K and start dissecting from there. Let's get into it right away because we have so much ground to cover. 2K today announced the founding of Cloud Chamber, the newest wholly owned game development studio under the company's publishing label, and maybe the name Cloud Chamber itself tells you a little bit. A collective of storytellers eager to push the front lines of interactive entertainment by making unique, entertaining, and thoughtful experiences that engage the world. Cloud Chamber will build its team at two locations, 2K's San Francisco Bay Area headquarters in Nevada, California, keep that specific location in mind, as well as Montreal, Quebec, which marks the first ever Canadian office for a 2K studio. In addition, 2K announced that Cloud Chamber has started to work on the next iteration of the globally acclaimed Bioshock franchise, which will be in development for the next several years. But that may not be as true as what's written here. Let's read about some of the staff and then we'll get to what I was talking about. A 22-year industry veteran with more than 40 games shipped to date, Kelly Gilmore will serve as Cloud Chamber's global studio head and be the first woman in 2K history to launch and lead a development studio. Her wealth of experience transcends executive production, marketing direction, and public relations management, including nearly two decades of service to another 2K's wholly owned studios, Firaxis Games, on franchises such as Sid Meier's Civilization and X. XCOM. Her role is based in Novato. Now, if we go to Kelly's LinkedIn profile, we can see that at the top in her experience, she has been a studio head of this little studio here in Novato, California since January 2018, which is far before 2K had announced anything. And we do have more information confirming that, but keep in mind, once again, this game has been worked on for a lot longer than people are assuming. Gilmore has tapped Ken Schachter to be Cloud Chambers studio manager in Montreal, an executive with extensive experience in development, production, technology, and creative roles. Schachter will also be an ambassador for both the studio and 2K in establishing a significant company presence in Montreal. Prior to joining 2K, Schachter served as general manager for Zynga in Toronto, as well as founded independent game developer and publisher Trapdoor. He has also held notable positions with companies such as Gameloft, Autodesk, and more. Now let's start digging in. This is where we're going to feast on some brand new information. We're going to begin with an article from Jason Schreier, which says that sources told him a new Bioshock game had been in development for years, as Kelly's LinkedIn already suggested. Let's get into a bit more information on that. The truth is that Bioshock 4, codenamed Parkside, has existed for years, according to four people familiar with the project. Long before today's announcement that a new company called Cloud Chamber will develop the next Bioshock, 2K had contracted an outside studio to do it. In 2015, Parkside was entering development at Certain Affinity, the Austin, Texas-based studio best known for helping out on huge shooters like Halo and Call of Duty. By the end of 2016, however, 2K had pulled the project out of Austin and decided to take the next Bioshock in-house, rebooting it in the process. So I personally feel like it was a good idea from the start to do all this in-house, taking one of your most popular IP, one of your most beloved IP, and sending it out to some side studio that helps make a much bigger franchise seems like a really big undertaking and a bad idea from the get-go, and likely a rushed idea to capitalize on people's love and desire for new Bioshock games. I'm glad they brought it in-house. I think it has a better chance of succeeding that way. More interestingly, though, is that this game is a reboot, which I think is also smart trying to continue what ken levine had concluded in the bioshock franchise with the burial at c dlc would have been a very 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 stupid idea and so i'm very relieved to know that they are smart enough to say hey let's leave this be it is great as is and they're not going to try to play off of it i love that it makes me really happy actually 
Now, it did mention in the little write-up about Kelly Gilmore that she specializes in public relations management, and that's very, very prevalent in an interview I read between her and Games Radar. Now, there are some interesting answers here, but out of like the 10 questions she was asked, they were all like blanket PR loaded questions, giving literally nothing there. And in fact, I don't know why the people at Games Radar actually published this interview because it doesn't offer really anything, but these two answers in particular, we can pick apart a little bit. A lot has changed since Bioshock Infinite, most notably with the growth of live service games focused around replay value and online interaction. Is this something you've considered for this new project? To which Gilmore says, this is another area of our industry that continues to evolve as players are looking for more from their gaming experiences. There isn't a one size fits all solution, so it will be incredibly important early in our development process to listen to our audience and understand what they're hoping to see in the next Bioshock. I love the sidestepping and that's really all this interview is. Now we'll get back to what her answer here is in a second. Let's read another important dosage of information. Have you considered consulting Ghost Story Games and particularly Ken Levine to assist in the formulation of this new story? To which Gilmore says, Ken and his team at Ghost Story Games are fully engaged in developing a new experience that will surely be another incredible game for all of us to enjoy. He is not affiliated with Cloud Chamber or the development of our Bioshock title, which is a little sad because Ken's mind is brilliant, but I can't wait to see Ken's new game and I'm glad he's just focused on that. So let's wrap back to what Gilmore had said about waiting to see and listen to their audience and understand what we had hoped to see in a new Bioshock game. Long before this game was confirmed, there was a job posting, which has now been removed, so we're going to be using PlayStation Lifestyle's little article here, saying that a job posting on 2K's website for an end game design lead suggests that the new Bioshock, if that's indeed what 2K Novato is developing, which now we know the Novato-based studio is indeed working on a Bioshock game, will require a post-narrative set of systems. WCCF Tech spotted the listing, noting that the position itself seems integral to plans meant to keep players engaged with the mystery game long term. Kelly, if you're listening to this, if anyone, if absolutely anyone from Cloud Chamber is listening, let me tell you something. No one, and I mean no one, plays Bioshock for endless replayability. No one desires live service mechanics being implemented into this series. People fell in love with Bioshock 1, 2, and Infinite because it was an interesting universe with a beautiful narrative, fun gameplay systems, interesting lore. That was it. It was a single player FPS story. No one wants an end game, okay? Nobody. And as we dig a little bit deeper into some job listings, we can start to figure out what Cloud Chamber is planning on doing with this series, which may concern you or excite you depending on which way you approach gaming. Now let's look at a little bit more of the staff on the website for Cloud Chamber, they say, what are we working on? Cloud Chamber is hard at work on the next entry in the critically acclaimed Bioshock series. Our team consists of veteran Bioshock developers and expert game makers from other mind blowing titles. And together we're going to create worlds that you'll want to experience. So other Bioshock veteran developers. Far before this announcement, someone on Reset Era had actually noticed that Sean Elliott who worked as a level designer at Irrational Games as well as an associate producer had returned to this Novato studio back in December of 2017 to be a combat designer. So they are indeed recruiting people who did formerly work on the Bioshock franchise, which I think is very good. Now some light details on what this game is actually going to play like and what it will actually feature. I feel like since we're talking live service stuff, nothing is safe so maybe some things i'll confirm today will be considered obvious but let's start off with the senior game designer position which says that they are responsible for the development of the player characters core mechanics controls and first person camera so the game is remaining in a first person perspective that's what i wanted to highlight right there next is the engine it says work with unreal engine 4 both adapting existing systems and building new technology in order to fulfill the project's technical needs and creative goals so they are remaining on a familiar familiar engine. They're not really branching out or anything along those lines. Next is a very interesting one. A job listing requires previous experience on FPS, makes sense, or RPG titles. Now, I don't really view Bioshock as having a lot of RPG elements. There's interesting progression, but not like skill trees or perk trees. There's just interesting powers that you collect as time goes on. And maybe that's what they mean by RPG elements. But once again, 
just something that could be new for the franchise. Last but certainly not least, experience with open world games desired but not required. So a little vague there, I don't think it confirms that Bioshock is going to be entirely open world because they're saying it's desired but not required. However, the mentioning of it saying, hey, it would help if you did work on an open world game says a lot, right? Because it says probably where they're focusing, that Bioshock 4, we'll call it, is going to be open world. It may have an end game plan with live service elements, and it's going to have RPG elements. So I don't know how you guys feel about that. Some of those qualities concern me. I have no doubt the game will look great. It is Bioshock after all, and it will be different. Keep that in mind. That's kind of my closing thought there. Be prepared no matter what. Even if they didn't mention anything like open world or anything like live service plans, Bioshock 4 is absolutely going to be very different from anything we've seen from the franchise because it's not Ken Levine, it's not Irrational Games, it's a completely different set of minds. The series has been on a hiatus since 2013 with Bioshock Infinite. Things are going to be different. Prepare yourself accordingly. We have ample time to do so. I imagine though, given the fact that this has actually been worked on for a number of years, that we'll probably see this by 2021. That would be my guess. So long as things continue to progress smoothly, I think 2021 would be a safe date to expect this. But that wraps up everything that I have on Bioshock 4. I am still shocked we're talking about this game, man. I can't believe it. I'd love to hear from you in the comments down below. Are you looking forward to this game? Is any of the qualities or mechanics I discovered in today's video concerning you? Fire away. Other than that, follow me on Twitter, follow me on Instagram. Those are linked in the description down below. Also, big thank you to the patrons for making these videos possible and allowing me to do the deep digging that I can on Bioshock. Thank you to all of you who gave me your time today and watched till the end of the video. I love each and every single one of you, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Do consider supporting my Patreon, as that's also linked in the description down below, and it fuels all the content I create here. Stay sexy, stay active. I love you all. Peace.